Hey guys, we're back. Ryan and Ben. If you don't know, now you know. We got some clutches to pull. Finally, snakes laid eggs. Ball python snakes. It's a miracle. That's right. Stay tuned. So we've been waiting for eggs for a really long time. Um, forever. Forever. It's, you know, June already, and we've only had two clutches of ball pythons this year. Um, one was really early in the year, and one was, uh, we still have, it's been a few months. So now we're like... You put that on the 20th. Yeah. This couple weeks. Yeah, so we're like dying here looking for eggs. And actually, I caught Ryan um, waiting for some eggs. So let's look at that real quick. Been brought to you by Jolt Cola. Jolt Cola. Wake up! Alright, so we finally got our eggs. It was a long wait. I'm gonna pull them now. This is a, a het lavender albino female that we put to a pie that is possible het lavender albino. So this is the male. We're just hoping to prove out that he is also het lav. And if we hit any labs, it'll be 100% het pied, which would be cool. We've been chasing after dreamsicle stuff forever, so. Uh, so here we go. Looks like a good clutch of eggs. It's a very tall clutch. She's wrapped up real high, which is exciting. Um, we're gonna take a pause and guess how many eggs there are. So we got. I hope she bites you. I need a better marker. Pod. I'll just say Pod Lab because I know what it is. To hit. Lab today is the second. The second, so we we'll lead six two, and I'm seeing a lot of eggs, man. What's sixty days from today? It is August first. Eight. One, 60 days. Ryan's handwriting is terrible. Good thing I'm the only one who has to read it. That is true. <laughs> so I already have these set up in the incubator so they got the right temperature already. I don't have to worry about being cold water or whatever. Uh, we've shown in the past how we set up our bins but this is vermiculite and water. We prop them up on these deli cups that we use and put a little light diffuser over top. This way we can get this as wet as we feel like and you don't have to worry about the eggs having too much water mm -hmm. or not enough because we can oversaturate it if we need to and we're going to set them up. So this good girl, hi, 
get in here, get that tail unhooked and down here. You're, you're fine. They all seem stuck together, so that's a plus. Don't want them rolling around. And she seems empty to me. So what did you just do there, Ryan? Like, why did you do that? I covered her head up so that she wasn't bitey. <laughs> yeah. And then they always hook the end of their tail around the eggs. And if you don't unhook that first, when you unwrap them, they'll spread everything all over the place, so. And then you rub down the belly. Then I made sure that there were no eggs stuck in here. Make sure she's empty. But you can see, nothing there. Yep. And we will uh, take her and wash her up after this video. Five, six, seven, eight eggs. Eight eggs. Nice. Now some people pull them all apart We'll have to take a little bit of this apart. But we don't always pull them all apart. We like to leave them together um, if we can help it. Always want to keep them the same way they were laid. An embryo attaches to the top of the egg and there's a little air pocket there for it to breathe. And if you twist that around, it'll drown. So we don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And you can candle them and you can see where the, the embryos are. So, and a lot of people will do that and they'll put a little mark on them to show what side is the top or the side up. So, Ryan does that as well. So that ought to be good enough right there. The reason Ryan did that is so that when we put the lid on or whatever was going on, um, it won't touch. Can you hand me the press and seal over there? Yep, and I'll grab the pressing seal. I guess for her sake, we'll put her back so she's not stressed out anymore. All done with her. Thank you very much. We'll just check real quick, make sure we have veins in these. And I found out last time that this is not very bright. I'm back with my good light. <laughs> There's veins in there. Looking good. And on video, this is hard to see, but uh, you just have to trust us. <laughs> yep, they're all good. Candle them all, and Ryan will make sure that the embryos are all where they need to be on the couple. Right there, you see the air bubble? I don't know if it comes up in the camera. Yeah, it probably won't come up in the camera, but. You want the air bubble up. And these ones that are stuck together, we'll just leave them the way they are. So this is something we've been using lately. It's tiny little clips. So that's not gonna roll anywhere. Um, but we, you can use all different sorts of stuff to make sure that... Um, Our buddy Kai uses straws, plastic straws. You can use... Uh, some people use golf tees, some people have bigger like uh, clothesline clips. So mm -hmm. anything that usually won't mold and yep. uh, you know, can hold something in place. We always use press and seal. That way we don't have to worry about things drying out. And again, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do this, but this is ju just what we do. We've been doing it for a little while and um, have found a lot of success with this way, specifically. Make sure it's pretty flat. And that way, no water will drip because it will um, get condensation on the, on the press and seal on the inside. And so, this will help keep in the humidity as well as uh, make, make sure no water drips onto the eggs. That's the first clutch. If you guys like watching ball python eggs getting pulled, make sure you hit that like button. Yeah. So the next clutch for that we're pulling is, uh, this is the dad, this is a killer leopard clown. And when we say killer, that means it's a super pastel. So two copies of pastel, 
leopard and a visual clown, male. So I'm gonna grab this girl out and I wanna be real careful because there's a few eggs that are rolling around in there, but I'm gonna make sure that they don't roll. Um, she kicked them out. And that doesn't always mean that um, that it's a bad thing, but sometimes it can mean that those are slugs. So um, we'll keep Ryan, them. Ryan has the, uh, the gloves on, so let me get back to him. And this is a first time girl, right? None of them are stuck together. See how it's hooking the tail in there? Yeah. And everything all over the place, but these are just gonna roll. No, nothing I can do about it. I have to candle all of them. This is her, yep, first time. Did well. Did really well. We produced her, actually, two years ago. Mm hmm. This is also from an Arroyo pairing. So, since we're not totally sure about all that stuff, it's a possibility that she's Arroyo as well. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. She's a good girl. Already labeled up. For now. Killer Leopard Clown to GHI Fire. So obviously we're trying to make some cool hats. And it would be cool to have that going on. How many eggs do we got? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven eggs on a first time girl. Gotta love it. We just were talking to our friend Dave Levinson and he said, you know, if you get six eggs or more out of a out of a ball python, you're doing good. So, and I know we've had more and we've had less, but if we can average six, it'd be a good year. This one is hard to see. All right, so all the eggs are good. So I'll take that. And there's seven. Take that to the bank and smoke it. So we're gonna uh, set these up, put them in the incubator, and wash up these girls. Um, this girl here, I'm gonna put back. She's been so good. And uh, all right. Thanks. So hopefully we'll get some really cool stuff out of these. I'm excited, Ryan. Don't get too excited. No, no, I'm excited. Guys, don't forget to head on over to Herp House Rock, our other channel. We just did a podcast with Vin Diesel. Wow, wait. <laughs> Vin Russo. Herp House Rock. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we hope that you really enjoyed it. We enjoyed making it. We love seeing eggs on the ground, so we're excited. And so if you could, please hit that subscribe button for us. Let us know that you're out there and make sure you smash a like button and ding that little bell. It's actually over there. So ding the little bell, bing, and uh, that'll help let you know when we have new videos. We really appreciate all of your support and I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Thanks. Brian and I aren't wearing the same shirts. That's good. Welcome to our show, Hack the Planet. Hack the Planet! <laughs> we love Oh, I can do it. All right, go ahead, do it. It'll be way better than what you do. That's probable. Guys, we're just gonna- We're gonna start- We're just gonna, no, we're just gonna start- We're gonna see what we got going on, you know? Like, <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna- Hey, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna- <laughs> we're just gonna show you around and see what we got going on. Yeah. Do you guys like the hand gestures? Like- In the wide like, angle lens, it looks like it's getting like, real close. Rah. It's like, ah, our boy. In Canada with a 3D. Whoa! <laughs> so we'll we'll give this a try. Uh, drop it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Here, hand, hand the camera to me. How about I'll hand the camera to you? Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. 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 We're all getting screwed lately. Grief. All right.